Good, happy Tuesday evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Talk Show right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. I hope you had a wonderful Monday yesterday and a nice weekend. I did not do my talk show yesterday. I had the day off from the talk show yesterday, but we're back with more fun stuff. First, we're going to take a look at the front cover of the Concord Monitor. And this is the front cover of the Concord Monitor. Take a look. And the first headline, Eyes on Gardner Ahead of Meeting. That is the top story in the Concord Monitor. So, I learned something cool about New Hampshire that I would like to share with all of you. Um, I thought it was very interesting. So, um, New Hampshire centrally is the happiest state in the U.S. Take a look at the video. Good news for Granite Staters. New Hampshire has been deemed one of the happiest states in the nation. Here's that video again. You love it, Sean. Everyone's laughing. While it hovering to each state based on factors such as income level. See, it's very happy. Sean McDonald, this is true of that. Um, oh my, I gotta move on. New Hampshire was listed as the uh, tenth happiest state, the top three, Minnesota, Utah, and Hawaii. West Virginia was listed as the least happiest state. There you go, Sean. Just joining in. I'm looking at my checkbook right there or something. Uh, very cool. Oh, nice, in, very cool indeed. New Hampshire listed the 10th happiest state in the U.S. Cool, cool, cool. The new Star Wars scheduled to release December 20th, 2019. So, WCVB got a new newsroom, and it looks very cool and fancy. I love it. Take a look. And uh, the reason I'm actually Facebook living this today is because it's a pretty special day here at Channel 5. For the first time in the station's 45-year history, we have a brand new newsroom. Uh, it opened this morning. Uh, so today is the first day of it. They've been uh, working on the construction of it for about the last three, four months or so. Uh, it's actually in the space where Chronicle used to be, and then they're going to renovate the old newsroom and uh, make new offices, a new home for Chronicle, which has moved out of the building temporarily. Uh, but this is the entryway. There's the 128 construction going over there. Um, so I will show you what we usually see when we walk in here, let's turn this around, walk in toward the front door, picked up some coffee. All right, hang on. Got to get the badge out. Got to juggle a couple things. Hold on, hold on, swipe the badge. All right. Let's see if Minnie's here. Our friendly receptionist. There she is. Minnie, I'm on Facebook Live. You are? I am, because we walk into the new newsroom. How is it? Very, it's beautiful. This, oh my, oh this my is Minnie. God. She's excellent. Oh my, oh my God, no makeup. Oh, you're great. It's beautiful? It's beautiful. All right, I gotta go check it out. Do you mind opening the door for me? Oh, you're great. So this is the way, hello, that I would usually walk into the old newsroom, reporter desks, mailboxes, and wow, it is gone, the old newsroom, not much left. I thought I'd still see some cubicles here, but I guess they are no joke. This is the old newsroom camera. We used to shoot 
that way. It's actually boarded up. That used to be master control. It still is master control. Uh, but yeah, my desk sat right about over here. So goodbye, old newsroom. They served this station pretty well for 45 years. There's the spiral staircase. And then we swing around over here. This is where the new construction begins. See, they're still doing some work here. And this is it. They knocked down a ton of walls. There was, uh, oh, someone brought flowers in on the first day. Look at that. Look, oh, Ed Hardy. Hardy is at his desk. But Face you blind. Sunglasses. Seriously? Well, you know, it's kind of bright in here. It's brighter than we're used to, right? Excuse me, I have to get in character. Yes. Oh, Ben, how are you? I didn't even see you there. He's making fun of me. <laughs> so, Welcome to our new home. Do the computers work? Well, we got a little power problem here. We've solved that. Okay. Now we're going to get the TVs to work. Now, I have a question. Okay. I, I tweeted about this last week. What did you end up doing with all this stuff from your old desk? Because I see your new desk is much neater. You got some crates? Oh, yeah. Oh, here's the football. <laughs> there we go. All right. You crammed it all in there. There you go. Including red hour. Oh, there you go. The bobblehead. <laughs> oh. Thanks. Oh, now he's hand hour. <laughs> All right, so Ed, what do you think? The old newsroom served us pretty well for 45 years. But you know, you like to drive a new car around the block every now and then. It is nice, right? It's got that newsroom new smell. It, it, it really does have a new newsroom smell. So this is where all the nightside folks sit, but I guess they're in the meeting. So uh, Ed's getting ready for the four. I'm going to head over to where I'm going to sit. That up there is the assignment desk. we got editing suites over here. Look, it's Emily Reamer. Hi. Go on Facebook Live. Hey. The studio's kind of cold, so I, I just came to the studio. I was taping something, so now I'm going to bundle up. Like, I thought they were supposed to improve the climate well, control in the building. <laughs> yeah, it was. Well, the studio is different than in here. So the studio, as you know, can be a little humid on some days. It can be. So I think as a preemptive strike, they turned the, <laughs> the air down, and I was just like, ugh. <laughs> so hence the blanket. So how are things? So far, so good. Does so everything work? Good. I guess this uh, is my desk. Yes. This is my crate of stuff you from the old uh, old newsroom, and I know it's my desk because it says Ben. <laughs> it's Chris Roach, our day side EP. I can't believe how much they've knocked out of the old newsroom already. I haven't even looked, really. It's all gone. Really? All the cubes are That's gone. Crazy. Master control is boarded up. There's our 5 o'clock producer, Lisa Simmons. Andrew Cuff to our 4 o'clock producer. <laughs> it's still cold in here. It's so, so the HVAC still needs a little bit of TLC. I guess so. Barb Bartikowski, our 6 o'clock producer. Karen Anderson, you guys all know. Emily's leaving. Where are you going with your shawl? <laughs> Show your, we'll walk over to Ed, Ed and Eve. Um, so this is uh, this is kind of a space. Got sports in there. Some things are still uh, in process, but uh, we're getting there. This is sports. See, they're still doing some work, but it is functional. Bob Halloran, Facebook Live. What do you think of your new digs? Loving it. We got a new computer. We're getting new monitors that are going up there. Your carpet's smooth. It's bright. It no longer smells like Bob Baggett's feet. This is Bob Baggett, our sports producer. <laughs> it's a new era of Sports Center 5. It is. New car it's smell. New era. So, so you guys are going to get your own TVs. Oh, yes. Yeah, Not yet. Them right down here. Oh, there you go. So we're 25 minutes away from being up and running. And all that. Nice. Get it. Your own editor back there. And sweet back there. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. And nobody can see what's on my monitor. You have a good. You do have a good seat because you've got a wall behind you. It's okay. You come yeah. look right now. I can look. It's all good. <laughs> all right. Good. Welcome downstairs, guys. They were upstairs. They used to be upstairs. So, and it had it had worn over the years a little bit, right? Over so forty years, it had worn. Yeah. So, yeah. Look at it this way, Bob. You don't have to climb the stairs anymore. I know. Right? I know. We don't have rotary phones. Like we don't. We got new phones. These debuted a couple of weeks ago, and they um, you can actually hear people on them. So it's a uh, it's a big improvement. So thanks, guys. Just trying to let you know. So yeah, you can kind of see the difference in the brightness here. They're still working on some things. But uh, new space. And here again is the old space, which we will say goodbye to. And Chronicle will say hello to very briefly. Um, hi, everybody. Thank you all for watching.
See, they're still actually working over there. That's uh, very cool indeed. So, still looks like a cool newsroom. Let's take a look at your GMA hot list from today. Illegal at that time. Well, how does it? Your 60-second hot list from GMA today. We're going to dive right into it. We're going to talk about the suspension. You say you didn't realize that meldonium was illegal at that time. Well, how does that happen? It's a question that I've, um, you know, I was asking for quite some time. Um, but once you get past that, um, you know, it's time to move on. And being away from the sport was really difficult. So to get that back, that was that was my dream. That was my wish, and I made that happen. What went through your mind you realized you had made that mistake? You know, I've always seen myself ending the sport on my own own terms and I knew that that's not the way that I would finish my career. I always wanted to win a slam, like I always thought about it, but I never pictured myself in that situation. And then when it happened, I was like, wait, what do I do now? I was so just like shocked. Best day ever. ever. Seriously. <laughs> Did you see me retweet that <laughs> and favorites? I was like, oh my God, like I've made, mom, I've made it. Seriously. And she got the check 3.7 million uh, and her reaction, she just had no idea. <laughs> didn't know, it didn't matter. That's <laughs> matter. opponent said, if you don't know, I'll take the check. <laughs> <laughs> said, I'll hold it for you. And that's the GMA hot list from today. We'll see you in the morning on GMA. Very cool indeed. And let's say hi to my cat, Buddy the Cat. Say hi to the camera. And that's going to wrap it up for the Riley King Talk Show for this Tuesday evening. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a great rest of your Tuesday evening, and I'll see you back here tomorrow with more fun stuff. We're going to end it off with some music now. Here is No Problems featuring Demi Lovato, Cheat Codes. I hope you all enjoy. Bye, everyone.